Hi everyone, in this video I will share with you my visit to the Rila mountain. I will have lunch at the tavern, the magic of Rila. Then I am going to explore the Rila monastery, hike to the cave of Ivan Rilski, try real Bulgarian yogurt and finally hike to the Stop Earth Pyramids. If this sounds like fun, keep watching till the end. Welcome back into my channel. I'm Angela from Violet Flame and today I'm going on a trip to the Rila Monastery and only five or six uh, kilometers before the monastery there is a very nice restaurant next to the river and me and my friend are going to have lunch before we go to explore the monastery. The name of this lovely restaurant is The Magic of Rila and it serves mainly traditional food and fresh trout if you are into fish. We decided to share a big portion of pork knuckle. This restaurant is very good for uh, ordering trout fish. This is one of their specialties. I also ordered my favorite Shopska salad made of tomatoes, cucumbers and feta cheese. My friend took a chicken soup and we also got two draft beers. The lunch altogether was about 42 leva, that makes 21 euros or 10 euros 50 cents per person. Very inexpensive having in mind that the roasted meat was about 500 grams. The food was fresh and very well prepared and that's the main reason why I love this restaurant and whenever I'm visiting the Rila Monastery, I always choose to stop here and bring along my foreign friends. Just across the river you can see a white horse embracing a black horse. I don't know why but my first association was ink and yang. We took an early lunch to avoid the crowds because it was a weekend and now that we had our food we are ready to explore the Rila Monastery and later on hike to the cave of Ivan Rilski. We were also lucky with the weather, it was sunny and bright all day long. Regardless of how many times I've been here, my reaction is always wow. This is the most majestic Eastern Orthodox monastery in Bulgaria. It's in the southwestern part of the Rila Mountains, 117 kilometers to the south of Sofia and with an altitude of 1150 meters above sea level. The Rila Monastery is regarded as Bulgaria's most prominent historical, cultural and architectural monument. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site which receives 900,000 visitors per year. Uh, it was named after its founder Ivan Rilski or John of Rila in English and initially he stayed in a cave a little bit further up in the mountain 
and uh, this monastery was established in the 10th century by John of Rila and his followers. The church has five domes, three altars and two side chapels. On the website of the monastery there is a virtual tour that will show you the splendid interior. The current structure of the monastery was established in the 13th, 14th century and it became a very important center during the Ottoman rule when um, this monastery preserved Bulgarian books, culture and history. So it has very beautiful um, frescoes just next to the entrance. Let's go and see them. After a period of destruction during the Ottoman rule, the monastery had to be rebuilt again. The main church was constructed in the middle of the 19th century and most of the frescoes under the arcade are the work of the famous Bulgarian artist Zahari Zugraf and his brother. The wall paintings illustrate stories from the Bible depicting angels, devils, saints and sinners. And this is my favorite angel, Archangel Michael. On this wall you can see illustrations that show the 40 days of trials after death and as you can see there is a guardian angel accompanying the soul through all of these trials. This is an active monastery that houses about 60 monks. You can also book a room to stay as a tourist. The residential part of the complex consists of 300 chambers, four chapels, an abbot room, a kitchen known for its uncommonly large vessels, and a library. The tower is the oldest building in the complex and it dates to the 14th century. If you like, you can enter the tower. The ticket is 5 leva or 2 euros 50. Just have in mind that there is no access to the roof. I wanted to enjoy some nice views, but it was not possible. There is not much to see except some really old frescoes. The monastery offers several museums like the Church History Museum, the Icon Gallery, the Tower where I've just been, the Ethnographic Museum and the Museum the Economy of the Monastery. My camera was struggling in the dark, but I just want to show you the chimney and the cooking vessel in the kitchen. As soon as you go through the exit, you will see a bakery that belongs to the monastery and you can get some mekitsa, a deeply fried pastry typical for Bulgaria. There are also some restaurants and small souvenir shops. <laughs> the next place we are going to visit is the cave of Ivan Rilski. He was a hermit and initially he was living in this cave located a little bit higher in the mountains. The cave is about 3 kilometers away from the monastery and once you reach this place you will have to hike for about 20 minutes. The main reason why people go there is because it's believed that if you pass through the tunnel of Ivan Rilski you are going to cleanse your soul. 
If you ever visit, make sure to watch your step because one woman told me that she saw a snake on the main path. Okay, now we are on the way to the cave of John of Rila. And we have to climb for about 15 minutes. If you can hear the clapping, it's for the people who have passed through the hall. Nearby the entrance, you will see a lot of folded papers. People usually write their wishes and put them in between the stones. I personally didn't pass through the tunnel. I've done it 10 years ago, but this time I got too claustrophobic and decided not to do it. But I entered the cave and I spent maybe 10 minutes waiting on a line in complete darkness. The hole is narrow, but if you twist your body, you will get through even if you are overweight. On the road, we saw several places selling thick yogurt made of sheep or buffalo milk. And of course, we had to stop. I bought yogurt from sheep milk. It was 1 euro 50. It's so thick that it doesn't fall. It probably has about 7 to 8 percent of fat, but it's absolutely delicious and I prefer it to ice cream. The Stoke village was not exactly in our plans. We just saw that the pyramids are very close to the road leading to the Rila monastery and we decided to go and check them out. Little did we know that this would be another hike of about 40 minutes. We were already tired because it was about 5 p.m. and we had to go back to Sofia, but we decided to do it anyway. The Stope pyramids are natural rock formations formed under the influence of accelerated erosion that destroys some of the pyramids over time and creates new ones on a continuous basis. The wind, the sun and the rain have been at work for thousands of years creating incredible figures out of a plain hill. We asked earlier on the man who sold us the yogurt if this was worth it and he said oh it's really a pile of mud <laughs> and He's not far from being right. This is what it is. And I think there is a rain coming from over there. You can go all the way up to see these pyramids. So they told us that the hike is about half an hour but it was much longer and it was very steep so I was not prepared for that because we already did a hike to the um, cave and to the grave of Ivan Rilski so I thought that is something that we can just check quickly but it was quite a hike According to a local legend, the pyramids represent a wedding ceremony where the best man was so fascinated by the beauty of the bride that he tried to kiss her. 
and because of this sin, all the guests have turned into stones. Some people can identify the pyramids as the best man, the groom, the bride, and other attendants of the ceremony. Okay, so this is a village, a small village. There is a church over there. It's really nice and peaceful and this is actually my dream to live in a village, in a small town. I don't like Sofia anymore. <laughs> I've enjoyed every second of this trip and I think you would enjoy it too. So don't hesitate to add Bulgaria to your bucket list. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next adventure.